Greetings, and welcome to the Crafty Chess Player, where I'm going to play this old school game called Solar Winds. This is the shareware version. Um, I'm pretty sure that uh, they don't actually take shareware registrations anymore for this game, but this is the shareware version we're going to play anyway. And this is how the game opens up. From the top-down perspective, uh, you start off in the ship piloted by Jake Stone and immediately see this guy decloaked. So you can send a message. Ha! The rumors are to be believed. The ugliness of your puny beams is more than repulsive. I need to deceive for myself before leaving this system what your race looks like. Now I know. You are disgusting! And you get several options that you can answer with here. For instance, uh, if I pick you are more ugly, he will respond accordingly. More ugly than what I see on my screen? That is very difficult to accept. You are a revision of such repulsion that I will terrify my children and grandchildren for decades with fireside stories of the hideous beings from the stars. Okay, who are you? I am Commander Gimlak of the 4th Squadron of Lys. My people are from the solar system you have named Esrikian. As far as I know, this is the very first visual contact any of your people have ever had with us and lived to tell about it. Why might I live? I do not want to draw too much attention to myself here at this time. You alone are no challenge to this vessel, but 20 or 30 of you may pose a threat. After this discussion, I will cloak and you will never see me again in this solar system. Why are you here? I am here to analyze the technology of your people and determine if your species will present a challenge in a war. I have traveled your system for days using a cloaking device to avoid detection. There is only one other nearby solar system. That is why we have focused on your people. Why tell me this? I feel free to tell you this because of the technology of your people is no threat to us. To declare war on your system would result in the destruction of your species. With the uprising of rebel forces on your system who attack and harass the government, there is no chance of your people organizing, uh, even organizing, a significant attack on us in the next century. What rebels? What? Must I tell you of the unrest in your own solar system? In my detailed survey of your system, I discovered a large number of people have risen up against your government. The reasons for the uprising has something to do with the rumors of government attacks on civilians. The rebels organize attacks on government installations and are causing a great deal of confusion. It has now come to the point where even non-government ships are being attacked. Will you declare war? That is not for me to say. Don't worry about it, though. It will be quick and painless. We are not a cruel race. And that's... And that's how you find out that Escape, and I think there's a thing here for no, no, there isn't. Okay, I thought there was a thing there for the story. Um, but you largely talk to other people in the game, and you figure out what to do from there. Uh, it's a kind of like a pretty good adventure that like you can respond in different ways and take some But there is a correct way to proceed through the game, and that's how you check So, back to start missions. First, go to sector negative 31 to meet with Emmer King. And then, second, investigate the planner in negative 1055 996. What do you can? And it's what do you can because it takes forever to get there. Now, if you look in the upper right corner of the screen, you'll see a red dot. That's Emmer King. We're going to go see him right now. Halen? Greetings, Bounty Hunter. I have heard so much about you, and this is the reason I wish to speak to you today. I have a small job which requires a man such as you. Are you interested? A man such as me? You know what I mean. A man of strength and skill. Someone who is not too squeamish about using the force in certain circumstances. If you know what I mean. What do you mean? Do I have to spell it out for you? An assassin! I mean that if it comes down to it, you must dispose of the man I see. I can 
reject it without even hearing the terms? I reconsider. Tell me more. Excellent. The job consists of collecting an escape criminal. This man is extremely dangerous and will stop at nothing to escape the law. You will find him in a second. Negative six, negative seven. You will be paid when the fugitive is returned to me or I have proof that he has been destroyed. Your king will be an e bin devices in the solar system. I will not offer more than this. Alright, I accept. It doesn't give you an option to refuse at this point. I am pleased to hear that I will expect to see you soon. I wish I could read English. <laughs> it's a tough language to read sometimes. So, now we look at the missions. Capture or kill person near negative six, negative seven. That sounds easy. It's gonna take a while to get there. Um going in the right direction, I think. Uh, there's red dots on the map. If you stop, you can actually see them headed towards you. It's kind of cool. A little bit eerie. It's kind of cool. Uh, a little bit eerie because, yeah, uh, they look like full radio. They will attack you. They have no problems doing that. This one is called warm mode. You can press end to toggle it on or off it. are all that remains of the once huge planet, which was destroyed by a large comet that passed through the solar system over 7 million years ago. Uh, those dots are kind of okay, I'm getting angry. Uh, the dot down towards the right, uh, that red dot is, uh, who you can pass to this back. But you can communicate with him, too. Wait! Wait! Don't shoot! Please hear me out! I need to speak with you! You must come with me. You would be taking me back to my desk. I am not a criminal, as I'm sure you've been told. I'm a scientist, and I need to return to Titus. I cannot tell you why, but I can make it worth your while and allow you to satisfy Kane at the same time. How do you know Kane? Ember Kane works for the government and is not to be trusted. He wants to be dead for political reasons, which I am not allowed to tell you at this time. I must survive and get to Titus. I have a plan that will benefit you and me. What do you offer? I can only offer you the location of people who need the services of somebody like you. I have no other valuables to give you. I have heard you will lie. I will not lie to you, but I have no proof to back up what I say. If you will not listen to me, I will be forced to fight, since I will not surrender. Still, I beg you to listen to my offer. You cannot lose by listening. Alright, what's the plan? If you transport me to Titus, a moon of Meg Megellus in Sector 1413, I will give you the locations of people who need your services. I will also set my patrols to autopilot after her. I am on your ship, and you can destroy the vessel. Kane will hopefully believe I am dead, and you can collect your fee. Will you agree to this plan? And if you choose to accept or not accept, uh, you really should accept, though. So I'm going to accept. Excellent. I will transport to your ship immediately. Transport me to the surface of Titus in Sector 1413. I will give you the names of your contacts when we arrive at Titus. My ship is now set for autopilot. It is up to you. Scan the ship again. Apparently, this is the lot. Consider we have passed through a field of blocks to get here. I guess it's fitting. The ship is licensed as a general security vessel for the moon of Titus, a small moon of Magellus. There are no other statistics on this vessel. Thank 
I detected the destruction of the ship. I am pleased. I give you the E-band converter as payment. I hope you do business with you again in the future. Goodbye, bounty hunter. And then you can go to cargo. There's a scientist. I mean, the item's not usable. No reason to transport him now. But we can use the E-band converter. And since I know we won't need this dude later on... Hyperdrive use, sensors is for these sensors here. And as you adjust this one way or the other, you get less and less detail. Um, if you have no sensors, you get no detail. I didn't actually didn't know that because I, I usually have sensors maxed out. I like to know where everybody is. Most of these ships will not communicate, um, but you can scan them. Missiles too. But I'm going to save my missiles for the bigger battles that are coming up. Now. I like these ships better. They are harder to hit for the most part. Uh-oh. Yeah, they're a little harder to hit for the most part, but when you do destroy them, they give you 20 gigawatts of energy. Hmm. <laughs> 
that's kind of cool. Alright. Oh gosh. Can you communicate with these? You are marked for termination. Do not resist. Your death is inevitable. Communication is finished. No discussion is required. Yeah, whatever. These robot ships are actually pretty nice to fight. It's easy to not get blown up by them. They're a little easier to shoot than the red ships. And they provide 35 gigawatts of I've been expecting to see you. I was told that someone would be arriving at home. I understand that you may be interested in some work. Well, we have a fairly risky job that must be carried out and we do not have the resources to do it. The small task... Wow, no. Wow, I misread that part. The task will require you to deliver a small package into a fairly dangerous region. Are you interested? Well, what is the payment? We can supply you with an armament for your ship. In return for your services, 15 dump fire and 5 heat seeking missiles should be more than sufficient payment. What is the package? I might as well tell you the package is, since you'll have to see it anyway. It is a wave intensifier. It will intensify narrow scanning beams for a long range and detailed scan of a specific area. These intensifiers are being placed in various spots of us, but I speak too much. That is more than you need to know and almost as much as I know myself. I'm only following my orders, and I do not know more than a fraction of what this is about. I will accept. Okay, I'm transporting the device to you. Remember to transport the device to the asteroid emitting the alpha particles in sector 6, negative 16. Return here when your task is done and collect your fee. Well, that's easy enough to do. It will take us a while to get there, though. I don't think I'll have to fight with anybody to get there, though, so uh, I can just let this fly, and with the uh, magic of movie editing, we will zip right along uh, to the end of this flight.
Alright, you can scan this. Name. Asteroid. This particular asteroid is emitting an abnormally high level of alpha particles. So this is the intense fire. The item is not usable, but you can transport it. And now we simply return back to the planet that we uh, had visited before. Sector negative 20, negative 40, and challenge him, win, and return the item he gives you to us. In return, we will give you a cloaking device. A man in your position will find this invaluable. My payment? Oh yes, I almost forgot. We will load your ship immediately with your payment. Thank you again for the service. Alright, we are heading down this way. fight some of these ships around the planet. This one's a great one. Generally don't like to run into them head on. Translated. 
It was obviously written by a madman. None of it makes any sense, and the historians regard it as a valuable old book. It is worth a fortune, and that is why I possess it. Outer Rim and Key? Sorry, I know nothing about that. I'm sure it is just a myth. This is your planet? Yes, this is my planet. Is it not wonderful? I am the only one to own this own planet. Well, I am the wealthiest, so why not? Who is your champion? My champion? He is an ace pilot from the military, tired of the insignificant pay and strict lifestyle. He is the best, so I hope you've kept up your insurance payments. Insurance payments? That was a joke, you dolt. Now we can go scan the ship. It looks a lot like ours. It's called the Nightshade. This ship is the same design as yours. It is registered to Modian, a very wealthy man. Scan reports are modifications to the weapon systems and engines. He, he doesn't say anything. Uh, uh, this is too easy. Really? down here that wants to fight. Just in case I lose this fight. Which I don't expect to, but you never know. Uh... Okay, good, I'm using this. Show those off now. Thank you. 
No more of your requests to live under the rule of the solar government. We are fine here and require only our privacy. Please leave us alone. I am not with the government. That is good. We have been harassed many times by the government officials inquiring into our technological advancements and asking us to live under their government, their governmental laws. They said that we would have their protection so we can handle any problems by ourselves. Now, if that is everything, I will sign off. I will leave you. We appreciate your understanding. And then... Oh. I thought they would just never answer me, but they do. Interesting. Uh, I could take all that energy and dump it into shields, I guess. I am not going to do that. The shields are in the back off. But you can toggle between the different shield uh, frequencies. Uh, you can do the same with your uh, weapons. Uh, and you can also set it up so that you fire the two guns on the side, or all three at once if you want, but it still has the firing rate. Uh, I generally like just to keep it at one, because it gives you the best firing rate. And with missiles, you can change, I think you can change their frequency too. Oh, no you can't. You just get different types of missiles. Um, but I'm on rapid fire, oops, I'm on rapid fire, maybe I can change it to, uh, uh heat sink, maybe I can change it to dump. That's what I'm trying to say. English is hard, what can I tell you? Um, we'll go back to this old user now, and he'll give us the book of my door. Amazing, simply amazing, that was truly magnificent. You have more than earned the book, in fact, you can have a bit of a bonus. I'm sure you can make use of it. It has been a pleasure to do business with you. I accept the payment. Here you go. Good luck in the future. And what's this bonus? There's the book. Can't transport it right now. Can't use it at all. Core food, which is energy, basically. So I'm going to save it. Uh, and we are on our way back uh, to the lady on that, uh, basically that barren rock. Uh, who gave us all the missiles that we damaged our own ship with. Uh, and we're going to give her the Book of Fire. And when we do, uh, she's going to inform us about something else that's happened. Uh, I think they've received a message from the government that they want to speak with me. But I could be wrong. Uh, if you're piecing together the story, you can probably figure that the government's not too happy with me right now, because I hope that the people are nice. Um, but, uh, tough cookies to them. I don't care. Congratulations! And congratulations to Spellbound. I never noticed that before. I have heard that you won the duel against Modian's champion. I now give you the cloaking device in exchange for the book. Let's exchange. Okay, I'm making the exchange right now. You will find the cloaking device in your cargo hold right now. Oh yes, I almost forgot. I've been informed that the government wishes to speak with you. You are to go to Government City and speak to officials there. And that changes our mission. Go to Government Planet in Sector Negative 12, 12. Alright, so we'll do that. We'll also harm the cloaking device. And see, we're harder to see now. We won't show up on anybody's sensors. Um, but if you fire a weapon, you unplug. And that's only fair. This would be way overpowered if you didn't. But you can use it to get the jump on uh, on your enemies, which I'm going to try to show here. See that green gray square is now green again? Oh, there's a lot there. But we're still going to get the drop on them because they won't see us. But they know we're here. And there was a third one over here that we're gonna get now. He's coming right at us. Or he's stationary. That was easy. We now have 197 spare gigawatts 
energy before we even reline the reactor core with the reactor fluid that we got. Um, to fully power the entries for the hyperdrive takes 222 gigawatts. And it depletes at the rate of over 1 gigawatt per three. What are you? Unregistered fighter class ship. You're not gonna attack me? That's, that's okay. That's very interesting. This would annoy most people. Oh, now you're gonna attack me. Okay. On, like the mini map. Can you zoom out? Yeah. This one right here. Okay. Name Aurelis. This planet is home to government city. Each planet in the solar system has their own laws, regulations, and laws. The government city lays down and enforces the laws of the solar system. Welcome! I am Gimpak. I represent the Grand Council of Aurelis. Our solar system's government. We set and enforce all laws and maintain peace in the system. All planets are fairly independent and have their own laws. I have asked you here to discuss a highly confidential rescue mission. It involves traveling a great distance to recover a very important person. It would be very dangerous, but I'm sure that a man such as you rather enjoys a little variety in his life. Do you wish you knew the details of the rescue? What if I say robots attack? Robots? We did no such thing. It would have been the rebels. Perhaps they stole and converted a number of our robot ships to attack you. Have you done something to offend these people? I haven't, actually. Why hire me? We wanted you because of your reputation. It is a very dangerous mission, and we needed somebody with the skill and courage to succeed. Rigians may attack. The Rigians, we've had some contact with them, so I find it hard to believe that you would know what their intentions are. Even if they did, we are sure our forces could defend us sufficiently. Hyperdrive research? Just randomly throw that out there. We've never attempted to slow research in any field. We may be sure that we have not encouraged hyperdrive research, since it is far too dangerous to be used by common people. There are still the mysteries of deep space probes to understand before any man deep space flights can occur. I will hear you out. Good! We recently received communications from our neighboring solar system that... Oh, wow, I wish I could read English. It's a tough language sometimes. We have always known that life existed there, but all attempts to communicate ended in failure. Until now, we were asked to meet with them. Uh, wow, again, I thought that was a comma. Until now, we were asked to meet with them for peace discussions at an area just outside our solar system. We sent a single ship as requested, and somehow they captured the captain of the ship. We managed to track the captain through his ID transmitter. He is currently signaling from sector negative 1779-1290. We want you to go in and recover him. You will need a way to get out there, so we will install a hyperdrive on your ship. We have held the key to hyperspace travel a secret for years, since it's still very dangerous. Will you now accept the mission? Tell me about the probes. The deep space probes were three-quarter light speed probes that were sent out many years ago for deep space exploration. After they traveled for a number of years, they simply exploded for no apparent reason. The probe sensors detected nothing in the area of the explosion. Over a dozen probes were sent. All flights resulted in the same type of explosion. No deep space flights have occurred since the last probes were sent out over 500 years ago. All right, I'll accept. Good. We will equip your ship with the hyperdrive immediately. You should begin as soon as possible. Return here as soon as you complete the mission. Uh, and now we'll go up here. Because, aside from mine, this is the last ship in the solar system we're headed to. And you can adjust the hyperdrive speed down the bottom, we're going to set it to max. Do not have the mark of the rebel. You perhaps work for the government? 
Are you keeping your lies hidden? You must be destroyed as a sign to the government that you will not sit back and take this anymore. I'm not with the government. You are not? This is very hard to prove now, isn't it? We will destroy you anyway, just to be sure. Not take what anymore? Not take these lies and abuse. They have attacked and sabotaged six technological industries in the last eight years. Who wants a government which kills its own people? They say that they were not involved, but many have witnessed the government attack robots at the crime scene. What industries? I don't know. Some were spacecraft development offices, others were spacecraft engine research and development facilities, but that is irrelevant. They killed and murdered, and now we must die before they kill again. Who are you? I am Devin Manta, leader of the Rebel Forces. Well, Devin, you're, you're about to die. If I could find you. Unfortunately, people never actually surrender. Like, he has one hit point. I will not let you die quickly, my friend. I hit his shields. There. Uh, we may as well scan this planet before we jet off into deep space. This is Ingmar. This desert planet has a thin and harsh but livable atmosphere. Sparse vegetation can be found on the surface, as well as small communities of people who live there outside of the city. It is believed that the rebels have their headquarters somewhere below this planet's surface. Alright. Let's go back out of Warhol. Uh, we now have the opportunity to check out that planet uh, in uh, negative 1056 996, I think it is. 1055 996, I was off by one, my bad. Um, so we'll equip the hyperdrive, we'll hit F10, and away we go, and look at how fast we're leaving the solar system now. Um, even at this pace, it still takes a while to get anywhere, so we'll just fast forward this to the good parts again. System, you must be in disguise, and the cloaking device is not enough because you will have to communicate with the people there at some point to get the fuel that you need to return to your own system. Will you disguise me? Yes, I can. I will convert your communications panel to display the face of Rigian. I got the images from some communications between some of their ships. That should give you enough protection to get past the supply depot and return as long as you don't run into the Rigian that I got the images from. The communications uh, wow, conversion is only temporary and will convert back to normal in time. Return to me after you have gone to the supply depot. So, we still have to go to that sector. 
Uh, but then we also go to the supply depot. Location unknown. Uh, I wonder if it will show the face. Yep, there it is. That's what I look like to anybody I talk to. Now. That's cool. You must find the supply depot before returning. Okay, fine. I'll find the supply depot. Um, I'll activate the cloaking device. Their ships are quite a bit more powerful than the others. Pop up engine power. I still have enough to pop up the engines from empty and still have like 100 gigawatts left over. Um, increase hyperdrive speed to maximum. And press F10 and away we go. Um, we have a ways to go. So again, through the magic of editing, we will uh, accelerate this to where it needs to be. And then we'll go explore the big about this system except for the names of the planets and moons and um, There are five ships here in total. So we'll go to this planet. Oh, there's six ships here in total. That one was hiding. This, I believe, is the supply depot. Mahi. Uh, nope, that's not the supply depot. Okay. Well, in that case, we'll, we'll go fight with this ship. Can't communicate with him. We can scan him, but it doesn't help. Actually, we can fire the missile. These guys are better fighters than this. Okay. Well, I guess we'll reactivate the cloaking device and move on to this loop. This will pop up the engine again. I put hyperdrive over there. I'd like to wrap this game up pretty well. This is the supply control. What is this? An alien craft? The council will be pleased with you, comrade. I hope you acquired that craft without drawing too much attention to yourself. You know how secretive we must be about traveling through that system. Welcome to the supply depot. What do you need? I need weapons. We will give you what we have. Yeah, I actually need fuel too. That's just the same thing again. I need fuel. An attack on the Titus Stronghold. We have nothing else for you. That's fine. Uh, so there are five ships in the system now. Um, let me check my mission size. Negative 1779 and 1290. Okay. It's quite a waste from here. So let's fight this dude over here first. And you take quite a bit of a beating. Now. 
There's one that's like ridiculously overpowered. I'm just gonna go find it and show you. that ship. I know who you are. I knew we would meet again. As you can see, I have been in battle, but you are still no match even for a damaged warship. 
I have no reason not to kill you now, so prepare to die! I'm gonna tell him he's gonna die. You are hardly a match for me! But then it declunks you, which normally won't have communication. modulations that we have. We have almost all of them. It won't let me select five or six for some reason. Or, okay. No, five or six is still let me select. It'll let me select the others. Uh, and weapons? Uh, it's a similar story. that done. Our only mission left now is to return to Kima in negative 1055996. Again, video editing magic coming up, so we'll just get that done now. You can tell I'm terrible in that game, but uh, at least in this game. But, uh, close. Oops, did not mean to fire. Wow, that was pretty good. Let me just communicate. Hello again, I am glad to see you have made it back alive. I have terrible news. What a juxtaposition. It appears that the government has attacked the people of Titus. I fear they have destroyed the hyperdrive projects. We must travel to Titus and see what is left. I have discovered that the people of Titus require the hyperdrive technology to travel to some place very far from here. I know no more than that. And then, uh, again, we'll activate the first one, so I'm going to uh, bring ancient power back to maximum, hyperdrive speed back to maximum, uh, back to maximum, back down to minimum. And we're going to take off. Um, we can probably get some other cargo, though. Um, we'll pull it. Which, again, we can use energy if we want. Raya crystals. When I was a kid, I thought this was some sort of plant. Uh, it did not look crystalline to me at all, as an adult I see it, but it still looks more plant-like to me than crystalline. Um, yeah, let's see the cargo. That's what we got from, uh, from Wicked. So, with that said, I guess, again, uh, video editing magic coming up until we get back to our home series. government control. There is to be no communication with the planet. There is to be no landings on the planet. You must leave this area as soon as possible. And that's all you get from Titus. Uh, so we'll go back to Government City again. Three store engines at maximum. Store hyperdrive speed to maximum. Uh, or take it down to minimum too. And there's still no ships in the solar system aside from mine, so I can look at that. Uh, I no longer 
also need to plug in the right side angle to turn it off. And we'll talk with Gift Pack again. He thinks I'm dead. I'm gonna surprise him a bit. You are back! It is good to see you again. What a liar. I hope that all went well with the mission. I have another task for you. It is very important and must be done quickly. There is a great vortex which is located far out in space. This vortex is a passage to another section of the galaxy. A ship is currently heading towards this vortex, which is carrying a man who wishes to destroy to prevent the government from exploring that region which the vortex will take us to. You must prevent that man from entering the vortex by whatever means necessary. Will you do it? Yeah, I'm gonna tell him I will. I mean, he lies to me, I lie to him. Excellent. Go to sector 2529 and 484 and stop that man! That is a long ways away. Uh, so we'll just we'll get this started now. And say goodbye to the solar system because we are not coming back here. But there's a trick. Gimpack wants us to die. He's already proven that. Um, this time, he actually slipped something in our cargo hold. Trisilium. If you go through the vortex with Trisilium, your ship will explode and the game will end. Can we use it? That item is not usable. Alright, what happens to transport it? Item ejected into space, and it's gone. That's all there is to that. Um, we are already about a fifth of the way there. Uh, I also feel like I can't stretch out whatever it is I'm trying to say to cover the remaining four fifths. So again, more video editing magic, starting now. did it. They did not want hyperdrive technology because it would allow us to get here to the key which controls the Outer Rim. That sounds like it's from the book of Vidor, doesn't it? The Outer Rim is a force field which surrounds the three solar systems. Trying to pass through the field results in instant death. We don't know how the government knows about this field or why it is here, but it prevents us from exploring beyond these two solar systems. This vortex here is called the key. We have learned to use it and to lose it. We have learned how to use it and to escape the field. I'm the first to go in... Wow, I wish I could read English tonight, that'd be great. I am the first to go and to explore beyond the field and see if anything can actually leave the field to free our people. If you destroy me, you will help the government whatever evil plans they have. I'm just about to activate the key. You may kill me, stay here, or follow me to what may be the greatest adventure of your life. It is your choice. Obviously, we're gonna go. So let's go. Excellent. I will open the key in a minute. We will move the transport to where it takes us. Let's go. Again, this green blob is unknown. But look at those coordinates. 18688, negative 18688. We zoom out. Upper left corner, that's how far we've gone on this huge map. Uh, the nearest solar system, I'm going to point to it, is down and to the left. You can't get there, the key will destroy you, and that's the end of you. Uh, not the key, the outer rim. Uh, if you pass through the outer rim, it is instant death. Um, I'm just going to go far enough to show that that's a question mark. It, just, it looks kind of funny. You go much further than this, your ship will blow up if you die. We don't want that. Um, Communicate this dude? No, he's done. He doesn't want to talk anymore. Can you 
Okay, this dude? Yes. I am pleased to see that you actually made it out. I will start by explaining what is happening. First of all, it was my people who made this force field around these two solar systems over 10,000 years ago. The shields keep everything contained to the area. Much, um, wow. Again, I wish I could read English. These shields keep everything contained to the area of the three solar systems, much like you keep animals in a zoo. It was a project, an experiment. Species were taken from a number of underdeveloped planets from around the universe. They were deposited on various planets and solar systems, and then a shield was set up around the systems to prevent escape. The species were studied, their growth was observed and recorded. We were to eventually study the interaction between the two largest cultures and the final destruction as the two would ultimately wipe each other out. We have spies in both of the major governments to prevent escape from and detection of the force field. They also push the species towards the eventual destruction of both races. I believe your species is the most popular for experimentation. There are many of your race which have been deposited in solar systems all over the galaxy in similar experiments. There are many of us who think these experiments are cruel and immoral. That is why I arrived here before the other members of my race who were sent to destroy you. We will take you into hiding. It will be up to you with our help to prevent the destruction of your species and hopefully to help other experimental species from similar destruction. We must go quickly. My people are almost here. And you don't get the option to respond to that, but we go to another cutscene. You are instantly transported to the strange ship. The soft green walls of the ship now transform, becoming very hard and smooth. You can actually feel the power of the ship as it begins to move towards your unknown destination. And that's the end of part one. This concludes part one of Solar Winds. I hope you've enjoyed the game. Remember, when you register for this game, you will receive the stunning sequel, Solar Winds Universe. The quest continues with new animations, weapons, enemies, allies, puzzles, actions, and adventure. Uh, and that will actually be part two of this two-part series, uh, Solar Winds Universe. Um, so if you made it this far into the video, kudos for you. Uh, please feel free to comment down below and feel free to hit the like and subscribe buttons. I'd love to hear what you have to say. I would also love to see more subscribers and more likes on these videos because it would mean a lot to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, as always, uh, have a great day and keep playing games. Thanks. Bye.